Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of indeterminate uh, power um, limits that we didn't get a chance to get to in class. So let's take a look at the limit as of uh, 1 plus x to the 1 over x as x goes to infinity. When we look at this, the 1 plus x piece, that goes to infinity, but the 1 over x piece goes to 0 as x goes to infinity. So this is type infinity to the 0, which is one of the things that we want to be able to handle somehow using L'Hopital's rule. Well, like any time we see an um, exponent situation where we have the variable both in the base, as the 1 plus x here, as well as in the exponent, the 1 over x, we want to rewrite that using e and natural log. So we'll take the fact that 1 plus x to the 1 over x is equal to e to the natural log of 1 plus x to the 1 over x. Now our log rules here, since the 1 plus x is inside that set of parentheses on the natural log, will allow us to pop that 1 over x out front. So we have e to the 1 over x times natural log of 1 plus x. Since e is continuous, it's con e to the x is continuous, it's continuous everywhere, um, what we know is that if the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus x times natural log of 1 plus x is some number l, then the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the 1 over x times natural log of 1 plus x, that's just equal to e to the l. That's a theorem about uh, limits and continuity that you can go back and refresh yourself on in section 1.5 of the Stewart calculus. Uh, Stewart's essential calculus that we're using. Um, we have to be a little careful if that limit uh, as x goes to infinity of uh, 1 over x times natural log of 1 plus x were plus or minus infinity because then we can't just plug it in or substitute it like we've done with the L here. Um, but you can then talk fully in the language of limits and be okay for that as well. So let's take a look at the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over x times natural log of 1 plus x. Well, really we're looking at this as natural log of 1 plus x divided by x. Now x goes to infinity, we know natural log tends to infinity. We also know that x would tend to infinity, so this really is a type infinity over infinity limit where we hope we can apply L'Hopital's rule, assuming that we take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator and get a limit that exists or is infinite. So let's do that. We take the derivative of the denominator, and that's just 1. We take the derivative of the numerator, we get 1 over 1 plus x. x still going to infinity in the limit. Rewrite that a little bit more succinctly. Limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over 1 plus x. That's 0. The denominator becomes very large. That becomes a small number, so it goes to 0. And so our conclusion then is that the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus x to the 1 over x, the thing we started with, has to be the same. We noted as the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the 1 over x times natural log of 1 plus x. We said that exponent's limit is 0, so the whole limit is e to the 0, which is better known as 1. Uh, let's take a look at one more example just to get a good feel for this. So it's going to be the same function. We're going to look at 1 plus x to the 1 over x, but now we're going to let uh, x go to 0 from the right rather than letting x go to infinity. So what's happening here, well the 1 plus x goes to 1 and the 1 over x uh, as x goes to 0 from the right, that goes to plus infinity. So this is the type 1 to the infinity limit that we hope uh, to address through L'Hopital's rule. Again, we're going to rewrite 1 plus x to the 1 over x as e to the 1 over x times natural